Dialogue Innovation Challenge. Super Sandhavak. Dialogue Ayatane Saha TV Derana Ekwa Lankawe Deep Timatma Tharuna Navod Padaka Manas Eka Vedika out again in a Pratama Saha Ekama Reality Vada Satahana. Dialogue Innovation Challenge. Sixth episode de Gata Ugulanga. Other in Piliganda. Dialogue Innovation Challenge. Avi Mulima Ape Vinisuru Madula Andunagane. First of all, we have a chairperson of Nations Trust Bank, Ms. Sherin Kada. Next, we have Executive Vice President and Group Chief Information Officer of John Keel's Holdings, Mr. Ramesh Shanmuganathan. We also have a Group Chief Information Officer of Dialogue Asiata, Mr. Asela Pereira. Welcome, judges. Thank you so much for being here. We are halfway through. Are you guys ready? All right, judges are ready. Let's get in our first contestant. Amangi, din ita jivite na tang rakia avidi na tang via paare di. Chat GPT vage dey baavita kala AI taakshane gudak deval apita karagan na pulwa. Onna dekh Lanka ve kollek me vage ma deya karla tiye no. Any question, any research, any task in real time. Abe ekat viyadan karna avin wata. Eking sali hambu karan pulwa. Viswas karan pulwa ande. Let's hear it from the man himself. When I say chat to find, the first thing that comes to your mind is chat GPT, right? Why, is, why should I use chat GPT when, when you have chat to find? These are the four reasons. One is accessibility. Secondly, chat GPT charges $20 per month to use uh, their premium models. And thirdly, privacy. Fourth problem is accuracy. That is my product, chat to find. A conversational search engine powered by AI. How chat to find addresses these problems? One is it's connected to the internet and when you ask a, ask a question, it gathers information from the internet, analyzes it and answers the question. Secondly, it's rewarding, like it's connected to a blockchain where if people contribute GPU power and share their GPU power. So if, if you have a very less powerful machine and he, he wants to ask, ask a, he wants to prompt a very powerful large language model, he sends the request to someone who has that powerful machine. And they are rewarded with cryptocurrency. That cryptocurrency is called C2F coin. So this is all possible because of blockchain. Yeah, and, and just uh, understand these four concepts before I explain how this works. First, there's a decentralized network and there's a consensus mechanism. There's encryption and then there's incentives. So, so this is how this is a visual representation of how chat to find works. So you have computers all around the world; they are all connected to each other. And when when I want to ask a question from from a from a large language model, and I don't have a powerful machine, he sends it to someone who has that that ha can run a run a powerful device. Oh, sorry, uh, powerful uh, large language model. So he sends it like, and he the random user receives it. He prompts the LLM and sends the answer back to the, to the original sender. And another, uh, another node or user or machine seen by green arrow, very, it starts with verifying. And when the verification succeeds, they are both rewarded with cryptocurrency. That cryptocurrency is called a C2F cryptocurrency, short for chat to find coin. So, and this coin can be sent and received between users or traded on a cryptocurrency exchange. And key features are, I already explained this for real-time information, able to run any powerful AI, data privacy, and users earn instead of paying. So these are the real key features. It can do everything ChatGPT does. First one is earn instead of spending. So, and it's fair and transparent. For example, if one machine, one machine goes down, it doesn't fail the entire system. And global access, anyone in the world can participate privacy protected. So, for example, when you ask a question from, uh, from, uh, from chat to find, it goes to the machine that has that power, it's encrypted, both ends are encrypted. And for example, <laughs> I had to personalize this. So, for example, uh, I search on Google, what are the services provided by Dialog Axiata? The first thing I get is a blue link. Some, some, sometimes I get an advertisement, some, I never get the straightforward answer. So, this is how chat to find does it. Same question, what are the services provided by Dialog Axiata? And this, it lists, lists down everything perfectly. 
So this is my milestone. First, I had the prototype in June. Currently, we are uh, on June. The, we are at chat to find software testing and fine tuning. And what's to come is software release finally. And next, iOS and Android app. And finally, getting the coin listed on a cryptocurrency exchange. Yeah. Yes. Uh, thanks. Well, thanks. Uh, or a whole proposition of Web3, it's a Web3 company. Sorry? You're building a Web3 company. Right? Uh, not exactly, no. So, so when you say you're building a LLM, is it your own LLM that you are built? Or no, no, using? I'm not building an LLM. I'm actually using open source models, meaning that they are already available to... LLM? L yeah, it's called so large So what, what are you using for this? Sorry? What is the LLM you're using for it's this? It's called Mistral 7B. Okay. So, so now the GP, uh, the G, GPUs that you are mi mining with, with your C2C bitcoins, yeah. is it in terms of what they are subscribing for public service or they are providing their own own uh, compute power? They, they, uh, they, for example, when I uh, they provide their GPU power, for that they get rewarded with the cryptocurrency called C2F coin. No, correct, but I'm asking, where are, the, are they getting the G, uh, GPU power? Is it from it's, a public service? No, it's already on the computer. So they are connecting their own private computer. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. So you you don't you, you don't still have a finished product. I could uh, show the demo. Yeah, but I think the what we want to kind of get a grip of is to understand. Kiden ek meka ta kena samband doila tina odi kine katamay apit attera dena gando. Right now it's uh, it, it it's because it's still under development. No one has joined it because I'm still developing. Okay. Okay. Clear. Yeah. I think ISRO farm is the first time to use the satellite imagery and IoT sensors. satellite imagery and IoT sensors. We have to use the satellite imagery and IoT sensors. We have to use the Stream farming is a major export in Sri Lankan fisheries industries. Do you know the current status of these industries? Many farms are being shut down due to maintenance issues in recent times. Do you know the effect of this maintenance in the production scale? Of course, shrimps are highly sensitive to water quality condition. Poor quality leads to several disease outbreaks and affect the shrimp production. To sort out this issue, currently manual water quality monitoring is done in shrimp farms in different frequencies. But still the farmers are struggling to get the real-time and accurate data. Without the real-time alerts, they cannot respond quickly to the potential issues. What we proposed, our, our web application is called Smart Aqua. For we are installing an IoT device, IoT device in the pond. So it will measure the pH, temperature, and dissolved oxygen level. And from the satellite data, we can monitor the plankton in the pond, and uh, and they will integrate it. And the customer or the farm officer, the responsible person, can access it through a web application. And also, if they want, they can generate the report. And, uh, and if there are any urgent conditions, such as the sudden uh, decrease of DO level or something happened urgently, they will get a SMS notification. So this is the feature of the uh, solution. The IoT data and satellite data will be collected and stored, in a, stored securely in the database. And through the web application, they can access that one. And, and also we can use the stored data in the database for the future predictions as well. So let's see who are our competitors. Our competitors are local agri-tech companies, but currently they are mainly focusing on agricultural sector, not yet on aquaculture yet in Sri Lanka. And manual water quality checking devices are currently available in the markets in the cheap cost and currently the universities and research research institutions are much interested on aquaculture uh, installing the iot on aquaculture so let's see uh, what's our competitive advantage here it's a real-time monitoring system so the uh, um, satellite data and iot data will be integrated and it will be provide a report a automated report as well as alert system and this product is customizable for your the large scale industry, medium scale and the family scale as well. And, all, and after that, uh, for ne in near future, after collecting some data, in near future, we can go for the predictions as well, such as yield predictions, we can go for that as well. 
So this is our product. Thank you. Yeah, let, let, yeah. let, let me start. Uh, first of all, good, good, good concept. Uh, want to have an idea whether you all have actually now, is this been piloted uh, somewhere or is it like just a prototype uh, only? It's a prototype. Yeah. So you haven't actually yeah. implemented it in a farm, uh, prawning Not farm yet. and so on? Actually ourselves we didn't but uh, there are references. Uh, we, did, we are in a prototype level. Okay. Have the product, I can understand probably at a very uh, completion stage, closer to completion. Prototype. Your product, your prototype. Yeah, prototype, yes. Yeah. So have you, uh, I know from what you're saying, I understand that you all don't have a proper financial uh, budget or a plan, but you all know how it is connected because yeah. your satellite subscription to your hardware to software to what, there has to be a break even that you all have worked out, at least the infrastructure, do you know how to set it up, have you planned that? Yeah, we have developed the infra infrastructure, that means the solution architecture and uh, uh, this system, we have uh, we have done a test trial, so we have implemented in a cloud-based deployment. So uh, all the data uh, will be transferred uh, to the database within the cloud and from that uh, the user will be uh, getting the data with, uh, through an API. So we have prototype, what is the sample size? I mean you need to scale up, have you thought yeah. about that as well? Uh, the sample size uh, we did for one uh, one pond, single pond. Uh, that means the storage will be around uh, one to two GB only. The for the initial test we did that, but uh, we didn't scale up yet. But in terms of field trials, now you will need internet connection, all of that in the farm. Yeah. Itself, right? So you all have have ruggedized devices and all of that for IoT and stuff to be deployed in in that kind of environment. Yes, initially we did the trial run uh, with a uh, with a Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, Wi-Fi module, so we cannot expect in everywhere to have a Wi-Fi, so in that case we can have a mobile connectivity as well, okay. so GSM modules. Yeah. How long have you been working on this to bring the product to this stage? We are working for four, three months, three to four months. Ah, that's what I thought, okay. Good. Hey, Naveen, I think that you get the Apple Yama Kawashunam, Api, Khadikati Anwatawada, then Gedri Nang order karan Purudula Thien. Yeah, I am a uh, we have farms, groceries, services, electrician connect, mason bars connect, piper bars connect, king we have to get a lot of people 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 to get a lot of Based on our research, we have identified few things in significant challenge to the current business ecosystem. There is a high demand and market potential for the local product, but the local producer and also urban consumer has a significant challenges like delivery suppliers and the logistics. Next, the people who need the proper services, the people facing difficulties to find the proper service. In the other hand, there is a lot of service providers company, they are facing a significant challenge to find the exact target audience. Last but not the least, any size of business having issues, investment and find the suppliers and the delivery channel. Addressing these gaps, we have a solution, we are introducing IDEOBIX. In IDEOBIX providing three major solutions. The first one called eShop. IDEOBIX eShop offers a wide range of product in more than 100 categories and provide a global market opportunity and promote Sri Lankan local market. People who want the product, he can buy the product, who are ready to sell the product, he also sell the product through the eShop. The next one, services. Ideobic services segment directs to the business profiles, matching your requirement and providing a platform startup service based uh, business self employee and the freelancer who are ready to providing a uh, services them also register their self and join with the service mart and ready to bring their services to the public and the next one the very important ideobix community the platform enables our customers to post share their interested and the business update exploring innovative idea or product the people having interested 
to support uh, investing a business so a startup sometimes the companies are looking for a business uh, uh, to start up the businesses and the you know uh, investors both can join with the community and share their thoughts and together work together so all these things working like this model so ideobix integrating sellers and the manufacturer through the delivery services and the local global logistics and also customer can can hire their service provider through the service providers and the freelancers we are targeting 20 million subscribers and 500000 vendors from our b2c and the b2b model when it comes to getting the revenue we are getting the commission per product from the sellers model and subscription for a month for the service and the delivery hub we are currently having a separate application for the users, seller and the service providers and the, for the delivery car. So this application now available in the Play Store and the App Store. Now currently we are getting more vendors to use the, our applications. What is the reason for you to come up with the super app? Yeah, uh, so we mainly targeting the uh, rural area people. Uh, the people are having uh, uh, issues with connecting the digital environment. They have no uh, idea about this, how can we sell the product and they have a lot of resources, they have a, uh, raw materials, but they, have, uh, they don't have an idea to how to sell them. So that's why we come up with the solutions. There are already there are a few uh, applications in the market, but uh, we sure those applications are not only focused the rural area, we, are, we mainly focus on the rural area people to uh, get these resources. IT field again, Toruturu Thakshana Shetri, Coding can be a very important thing. If you are lazy, you can be a good thing. If you are coding, you can be a good thing. Software application is a very good thing. You can be a good thing. You can be a good thing. As new computer science and engineering students, we were excited but soon found coding challenging. We questioned the difficulty of learning programming and we tried to simplify it. Imagine learning code from the YouTube tutorial, but you are just watching the content. Uh, reading blogs and documentation also doesn't help you to understand the actual code. To solve this problem, we came up with a new solution called CodeLens, which is designed to provide a more interactive coding experience. You guys would be wondering what this guy is thinking of. This is not a concept level. So we have uh, made a platform out of our idea and this is a one minute demo of that. So what you can see here is looking like a YouTube. These are the video contents in our media, a new format. So initially it would like would like a YouTube, uh, YouTube video. So but the additional things we have are, we have the preview editor where you can see what is happening. In addition, you can scroll the code there. You can select the code there. You can copy paste it. You can create a new file in it. Everything you can do in the video editor which you are using for the learning. So, in usual things, what you do is you can see the screen recording of the code. You cannot access it. You cannot run it. You cannot develop it. These are the issues you have. In this format, you can do all these things. So, what are the features we have? What can we do? All this time, I was talking about the learners how someone is learning so that they can watch the tutorial, get the understanding, they can on the go uh, do the development there and also they can get the extra code they need. For the tutor, so if we take a YouTube video, every two years there would be same video, Python tutorial or JavaScript tutorial because there are some upgrades, index upgrade, there are so many things. So as a tutor he has to upload everything again and again. But this format what he can do is he can refactor it. We don't have to create the NDA session of that uh, completion again and again. So that's the biggest thing for the tutor. And the organization just be called as an organization which is teaching code learning. So it's a low cost. So it would be providing a better experience for the users. I mean the students who are learning in that institution and also low maintenance so because they don't have to upload the videos again and again. So when talking about the comparison, so here we can see the blogs, Stack Overflow things and also code sandbox, YouTube and code lens. So mainly we have been focusing on the ID execution issue and the explanation and the code content. So, and in the multiple scenario case, so we can say that uh, we get the 
GitHub link and the code there. But we are not getting each and every scenario that the tutor is explaining in the video. So for example, in a video, he would be explaining four scenarios, but the, uh, what he would have in the GitHub link or the code would be for one scenario. So that's a quick uh, snapshot of what we have there. So, so today, most of this content which is getting posted on YouTube is by the content creators. They their preferred platform would be YouTube. Yep. How would you attract them to your platform to create the content? So what we what we say is what we have in additional here is for the student he has some extra benefits. No, I know you. you I I agree, but I'm just saying in the business plan. No, no. No, you have to have content. You have to have code in your repository. Now YouTube, there are so many people publishing it because that's the known channel. Yep. Now how would you attract people who are on YouTube posting these codes to your, your platform? So the initial plan is like, be creating the content. So this is the Java tutorial. You guys, couple of you guys, okay. Couple of you guys, we, we have already created them. So we have created them and post there and okay. sending them, okay, learn from here. So we are just building, okay, we have this platform where you can learn easily. And after that, we should be, we are planning like, going with the institution, so instead of creating... So are you kind of popularizing this in the universities where you all are studying or how are you all starting this so traction between students and the... the so mainly creator? we are focusing this on the initial code learning beginners. So we are uh, talking schools. with the... Huh? Schools. School level or the private small tuition centers like IDM, VCAS, those things. So we have been talking about, we had sessions with them as well. So we took them with these local brands we had there. Now, so yeah, anybody who wants to freely learn, that's why I think Ramesh also asked whether you're going to create modular wise, intermediary, uh, beginner, intermediate and expert or whatever. Is it going to be something that later on you can get into a certificate level where the person who's subscribing can learn and get certified or yeah. something? Are you looking at to that extent? In a YouTube video, anyone can upload a new video, uh, anyone can record a new video and upload it. We are fo focusing on that, uh, that kind of application. Currently we are so, providing so, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it for fun you are doing or do you want to make money out of that? Is it a yeah. business? What is it? Yeah. Are you do, do Anyhow, doing it's it as going a social to... cause or yeah. you want to do it as a business? We want to do it as a business. Business. Janitorial services can be done in a new way, 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 a new way. Then we cleaning services, netam janitorial services, karna companies valata. Hamange seva van, hamange seva kyan. Saha pari boge kyan. Kyan me seal nama karyakshama va khalmana karne karan pulvang appe ka tamai adadaav se avasan thanga karuva nirmane kallati hai. Apni balam hai manod kallati hai. We have find a, and we have find issue in the janitorial industry as how they are facing so many problems like an inefficiency and inventory mismanagement and uh, they are facing a big lot of problems in managing their workers and accountability uh, and uh, budgetary and uh, uh, unorganized workforce like this so many issues they are facing so we came up with that janitorial ERP management system to do work with the work order management inventory tracking and the time tracking analytic reports like this ways we plan with the scheduling uh, they can schedule the task and they schedule the events and time tracking, maintain quality, supervisor, attendance and especially in this case we have come up with the geofencing. Geofencing means uh, normally all the apps have the geofencing but here when the worker can log into our ERP system when only uh, when he went to the client place or the uh, place where which one is recruited to him to do the work then only he, he log in then only time tra tracker works so there's a uh, much more account accountability will works and to reduce the inventory management system the client and the employer employee can also adjust the in inventory so there's a lot of mismanagement in inventory will be reduced and our ERP is a wide labeled one because all the clients uh, like to billing on their own brand so we'll uh, doing in the wide label system and here the advanced tips is not specific to the uh, general in, uh, industry. We made this ERP only the uh, general industry. So we have targeted the North America because currently they are only leading in the technical side and they are very uh, eager to accept the new technologies. And this is our compound annual growth rate is 2.9 percentage as our current rate. Already we have deployed this our ERP system with the SQM general in Canada. Uh, from that we are doing this and 
So this is our ROA like 500, uh, sorry, 50,000 uh, dollars and from total is from 3.5 years. Why, why are you targeting the US market? So currently uh, as in the US North America side, they are forwarded in the technology and they are willing to accept the new technology easily and for the income source also, uh, we do this uh, pricing as a subscription model. For per user, we are getting the $5. Actually in the current uh, uh, ERP system which we deployed, they have uh, more than 100 plus workers, users. So we will get uh, a monthly $500 as a quick income. So you have deployed customers in the US, how yeah. many? How many? Uh, actually in Canada we have one customer called SKM Janitorial and we have uh, another one person in Germany, SK Groups and also in Australia. So you are now in production for about 4-5 months? Yeah. Okay, so just add on question to what uh, Ramesh asked. So in terms of the difference between uh, uh, some other ERP system versus uh, janitorial ERP system, what is the main 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 difference? Because geofencing, time tracking, I think these are standard things. Yeah. What is what is different? We customized the needs, but they wanted uh, like uh, the maintenance and the attendance, supervisions. Uh, also, we can use this uh, as a general purpose also. But we did for the particular janitorial services only. Dialogue innovation challenge other than say Tiranat Magavasta out of Apiavilla Tene, judges. A pastinagging other than say Mulim Harangang, Ivat Penekauda, Isellama, Api Ivat Karanathirne Kalatine, ERP janitorial service product taker. All the best, congratulations, we'll see you later. Right. So next that we thought we will eliminate is chat to find is a very good concept, novel idea. I think you need to come with a pretty uh, flushed out uh, business model to take it forward. Avishka, it's obvious that you are a brilliant mind. Thank you so much for coming in and I hope you take on the judge's advice and all the best for your journey. Thank you. Right. The next one. Uh, we thought of eliminating is uh, are you a bit early? I think we gave that feedback to you as well. Kapilan, unfortunately you have to leave the competition, but all the very best. I hope you take on the feedback in a positive way. All the best for you. Right. We have two people left, judges. May the Natapi feedback dealer individually. Then we'll say who is leaving the competition next. Not in uh, the meeting order, but I will just uh, yeah. cover the two, two business uh, ideas. Uh, re revolutionize the shrimp farming. Uh, the judges, all three of us, uh, were in agreement that it's a good product. It has a lot of benefit to uh, small scale, medium scale, and large scale businesses in Sri Lanka. So, a carnutika pigatta short list karana. Anita code lens, online coding learning platform. एका तापी हितुआ उन आइडिया का केला ये उन आटा खालपना करने को टा बिजनेस प्रपोजल लेका आप रिप्रेजेंट कर पोगे दिया टा वी थॉट दैट देस देस हैज़ टू बी अ लॉट मोर थिंकिंग दैट नीड्स टू गो इनटू फिगरिंग आउट व्हाट यू वांट टू डू विद द प्रोडक्ट एंड हाउ क्विकली यू कैन गो टू � the judges uh, unanimously decided that the golden ticket will be taken by the uh, revolutionizing shrimp farming uh, idea. Which means uh, the last person to get uh, eliminated today is Pranavan and Codelands. Yeah. Congratulations, Pranavan. Well done. There's a long way to go, so don't give up. Yeah. AKNA Dialogue Innovation Challenge 6th episode Deke Golden Ticket Tekarang Avasana Vatete Anne Kayatri and her team with Smart Aqua Congratulations, let's invite the entire team on stage Congratulations team Smart Aqua You will now receive the Golden Ticket um, from our judges Smart Aqua team maker, our son what ate under golden ticket ticket in Aga Navastava, Ugulumeda Kinney. 
Right, we are going to talk about Dialogue Innovation Challenge in the 6th episode of Avasan Karandai. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to talk about this episode. We are going to talk about the love of the people. We are going to talk about it. A huge thank you goes to our judges, Asela, Sherin and Ramesh. Thank you so much for your knowledge, your expertise and your advice. Hari, we are going to talk about it. Keep dreaming, keep innovating. This is the Dialogue Innovation Challenge. Good night. Dialogue Innovation Challenge.